What's up YouTube, this is the Nord30 and I'm bringing you guys a really quick video here showing you how to make all four staffs on Origins, where their pieces are and whatnot. And yeah, just kind of like showing you guys what's up here. I know that there's like a little extra Easter egg you can do or a little extra work you can put in to actually upgrade the staffs, but we didn't do that for this video. It was hard enough just making the staffs, guys. So um, maybe what we'll do is we might do like another like kind of group attempt or whatever to where we actually make it. Or try to like upgrade them, but we'll see how it goes like, right now. But anyway, this first little bit is just showing you how to get the two um, uh, musical instrument, musical pieces you're gonna need to um, uh, get into the little portals and whatnot. And so this first one is just your uh, little mate, like I don't even know what to call it, like your, your player or whatever. And it's just down right there in that excavation site. This next piece is your little black disc. I wasn't able to show. Um, uh, all the locations for it, I'm sorry, but it just kind of spawns in random spots around the excavation site. So this first staff is the red one, and the disc either going to spawn down there where I was chilling at, or it's going to spawn right up here on these boxes, or and it has a lot of spawn points, so you have to just check around, or it's going to be right there in the pew area, right there in that little like bowl, I guess, or where it was for me down here behind where the tank was at kind of hiding away from you guys so to get the first piece for this staff you have to kill your first big daddy zombie and so i just kind of showed this train route again that i showed in my train routes video which if you guys haven't checked it out go check it out if you want to see what train routes i'm playing with but basically like I don't know, you just gotta make sure you get that big daddy down and that's gonna open up your um uh, your first for you guys as you'll see right here i finally got him down so we were gold so I avoided that nuke because I wanted to um, be a little bit of a pun whore, but you know, that's how we do. So the second piece you have to get, you have to turn on that sixth generator and survive. To be able to get to the third piece, you have to have, I know you at least have to have the first two pieces that I'm showing right now before you even have the opportunity to get the third. And you might need to have the disc too, I'm not sure. But once you get that generator turned on, it's just right there in that chest. And your third piece is going to be... Uh, glowing plane right there like you saw right there I couldn't see it for a second sorry that was awkward but yeah he just flies around there and you just gotta shoot him a little bit with your gun and he, the piece will just kind of casually glide down for you guys and I'm sorry I'm taking a little bit to get to it because I didn't want my zombies to die on me I was kind of chilling posting up but yeah there you go and then you'll have your uh, third piece right there the portal for this red one is I think that was the one that was right underneath the church I didn't really do a very good job of showing where the portals were at, but there's only four locations for the portals, and there you go, there's the red um, uh, gem for you right there. But uh, anyway, when you set the xylophone or the little record player down in the um, uh, in that room with the excavation site, it'll open up this little area down here, which I'm sure you guys have seen before. And uh, then you, gotta, you can go right there and just start building your staff. And... If you're playing with other people, know that anyone can build the staffs and anyone can take the staff. So don't feel like if one person grabs all like the gems or something like that, that no one else can get a staff. So uh, your next staff is going to be the blue one, and you can only get pieces for it when you dig up, um, uh, dig things while it's snowing. And I, I go ahead and I grab that one right there, and then I show that the disc location is where I just pointed, right there where I just pointed, or like it is for me right here on this shelf. Uh, like I said, you have to keep just digging while it's snowing. That's just pretty much how it goes for you to get pieces. I, I don't know, like just save it up right here. You're going to see me fail really quick. I, I tried to grab that piece and keep my zombies alive, and I ended up going down. But, yeah, just try to save your dig sites until... Um, uh, it's snowing and then just go ham guys and you'll be able to grab it up quick and I didn't really show this one too well either this portal but this portal I believe is the one that was by the spawn room there are four locations for the portals there's one by this like the spawn room if you don't take that door by the generator if you take the one in the hallway that's where um, uh, there's one location where you can go down and get to a portal another is like I said in the chapel area and then um, uh, there's another two One's by where you can get stamina up, and that one um, uh, generator by the excavation site, and the other one's right by Jug that I show here in a little bit. But there you go. My buddy right there just made the um, uh, that staff, and then we're off to good to go. So the purple disc is going to be right where I just pointed, right there near Jug, or it's going to be like it was for me, just chilling on that uh, cart, or it's going to be down here near where the portal for the yellow gem is at, and that's just down through this little corridor here, and it's just going to be posting up at the end of it. Once I get to it, 
right there yeah it would be right there so to get the purple pieces you have to be on the tank and jump off at certain points this first point when you take it the first time it's just sitting right there toward the end of your route and you just have to time the jumps well enough and then you're, you're good to go you're set uh, this next one you're either gonna if you're by yourself you're gonna have to take two trips but it's right there the first one's right there by the excavation site and I, oh, go ahead and grab that and then the second one and I'll show you in a second is just gonna be right here going to the chapel so you're either gonna have to take two trips by yourself or um, uh, have two people go on if you're in a group and but it's just jump off get the timing right and you're gold you got all your pieces for that one so and then this one this is the portal that is by the um, uh, where stamina ups at that one generator by the excavation site and this one I kind of showed the whole like little lead up into it and now you guys if you guys are watching closer you're, you're seeing that some of these are solo clips and some of them are with my buddies understand that I got almost all the pieces by myself up to this point and when I went in for this first gem as you're gonna see for the purple staff uh, my wave dies and when I go back in uh, there's a big daddy waiting for me and he munched me so instead of you know I was raging I instead of like killing the whole like all the work that we put in I decided to just um uh, kind of meld it with like some work that I put in with my friends so I mean you, you could get it done solo but you know it's 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 really hard to do but there might be an easier way to do it that I just didn't see I think I should have stayed down there once the wave ended but I don't know I made a mistake it happens guys but as you can see there we go we made the staff again and there's our third one this last one um, is the yellow one and the disc is either right there on that wall it's gonna be right here where it is for me on these boxes or it's gonna be right down in there on that bench and um, uh, I, this one I just kind of show like where the parts are at. You know they're in the robots. If you guys need to know how to get in there, I have I'll have a link in the description that'll show uh, how to, like the video I have that shows you how to get into the robots and whatnot. I don't want to have to show that again because you know we have it already. And then yeah, this yellow gem like I, I actually showed this one. I don't know why I didn't show the rest of them, but it's just in that uh, little tunnel right uh, by jug and then you're good and then you can go in here and grab that gem you know this was the one that I actually ended up using my staff I they, honestly they're all really good I mean I don't have a specific favorite one over the other this is the one I ended up with so yeah sorry that I didn't show some of the locations a little better YouTube I, I don't know I was on autopilot I suppose so anyway that's the video this last little clip is just kind of like a little avoidance I had when I was on um, uh, solo I don't know how I survived this but I did uh, like I said hopefully this was helpful for you guys and just kind of show you like the basis for getting those staffs uh, I might get the guys together and do like a group thing where we try to you know like I said earlier uh, upgrade the staffs for you guys but I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see how it goes. I'll kind of pitch that idea to you guys on Twitter here in a little bit. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, we got Battlefield 4 and Ghost coming up soon. I'm not sure which one I'm going to get yet, but I'm excited either way. So, yep, thanks for everything again, guys. And uh, make sure you just guys interact with me on Twitter and whatnot. You know, keep it fresh. So, thanks. I